Hello guys, I am Samke Jain, a medical student at Vinatsa National Medical University and I am an IM student and here I am back with a new video of my anatomy series with the topic scrotum. So in this video we will be discussing about the various layers of the scrotum, its embryological origin, its arterial and its uh, nervous supply. So let's start and guys I will continue to bring such erudite videos for you. For that you can subscribe to YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and join our Telegram channel. All the links are provided in the description below. Now let's start. So if we talk about the embryological origin of the scrotum, then they derived from they are derived from genital swellings. They are derived from genital swellings. Genital swellings aka labio scrotal swellings. Why labioscrotal swellings? Because from the same genital swellings in women, labia majora are developed. Labia majora in women. So, scrotum in males and labia majora in women. And that is why scrotum is biologically similar, uh, homologous to a labia majora. Now, let's talk about the layers of the scrotum. So from outer to inner side, scrotum is made up of five layers. It has five layers. So here we have the structure. Suppose this is the scrotum with its five layers and it contains the testes over here. It has testes. Now the outermost layer is the skin, obviously skin. That is the number one. Then we have the datos muscle and fascia datos muscle and fascia that is the continuation of campus and scapa's fascia from your abdomen that is the continuation of campus and scapa's fascia then we have external spermatic fascia the next three layers that is the external spermatic, cremastic and internal spermatic. We discussed about these three layers in the previous videos uh, regarding the spermatic cord. External spermatic fascia. That is the continuation of external oblique aponeurosis. Then we have the cremastic fascia. Continuation of the internal oblique. And then finally we have the internal spermatic fascia. continuation of the fascia transversalis so what are the five layers of the scrotum first of all we have the skin then we have the datos muscle and fascia that is the continuation of campus and scapa's fascia external somatic fascia continuation of external oblique aponeurosis cremastic fascia continuation of internal oblique and internal spermatic fascia continuation of fascia transversalis now let's talk about the arterial supply of the scrotum the arterial supply is very easy because it just depends upon the name. The name is similar to the scrotum. Arterial supply here is first we have anterior scrotal arteries. Anterior scrotal artery that is a branch of external pudendal artery. And then we have posterior scrotal artery branch of internal pudendal internal pudendal artery so we have here anterior scrotal artery and posterior scrotal artery now let's talk about the nervous supply if we talk about the nervous supply then for the, the mnemonic for nervous supply the mnemonic that I have is pig it's very simple pig for P if we talk about the P first then we have posterior scrotal branch of perineal nerve that is itself a branch of pudendal nerve and then we have the perineal branch of posterior femoral cutaneous 
nerve you can see that every lat let, uh, every word has p posterior perineal again perineal and then the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve now for the eye we have anterior scrotal branch of ilioinguinal of ilioinguinal nerve here and then if we talk about the g then it's again very simple the genital branch of genitofemoral nerve so again here we have the g also and here also so this was the mnemonic for the nerve supply that is the peg so what are the nerve supply what is the nerve supply to the scrotum we have posterior scrotal branch of perineal nerve we have perineal branch of posterior femoral cutaneous nerve we have anterior scrotal branch of ilioinguinal nerve and we have genital branch of genitofemoral nerve now uh, the lymphatic drainage scrotum drains the lymph into superficial inguinal lymph nodes so if we talk about the lymph then we have superficial inguinal lymph nodes now i would like to mention one very important clinical correlation over here that is varicocele what is varicocele varicocele is basically the enlargement of the pampiniform plexus the pampiniform plexus that we discussed in the previous video that was the uh, a plexus made up of testicular veins so this pampiniform plexus it enlarges in the scrotum that condition is known as varicocele it is very much similar to the varicose veins just the varicose veins in the scrotum are known as varicocele is known as varicocele so it is the enlargement of pampiniform plexus in scrotum so this is the varicose seal so this was all about the scrotum and if you have any doubt related to any topic you can just comment below in the comment section and if you guys want to give us the ideas that you want videos on what topic then you can just comment below thank you so much guys.